el chisme. going on guys welcome back to the cheese report i'm your host danny flores con todos ustedes. as you guys see in the title guys we're going to be talking about the ace fest because a lot of people were excited for this festival and well let me tell you <laughs> wow guys so i know i talk about the ace family or i used to talk about the ace family a lot last year but this year you know i Yo, we're all over the Ace family, right? But I just wanted to put this video out there because a lot of people are like, yo, I'm excited to go see the Ace Fest or go to the Ace Fest. It's going to be lit, blah, blah, blah. Even the Ace family themselves, they put out a video saying, yo, for all those haters, yo, this festival is happening. So real quick, for the people that said that our festival was a scam or that it wasn't happening, you guys can suck a fat donut, okay? Because it's happening. So yes, Ace family, it is happening. Yes, it's happening it happened but was it popping i don't think so but anyways a few youtubers went such as you know rich lux madcaster uh deaf noodles and the whole h3 crew and let me tell you rich lux madcaster and deaf noodles got kicked out of that festival deaf noodles actually went like far to you know buy the vip ticket meet the ace family confront the ace family and this is what happened no but that's that's instagram though yeah can we take instagram instagram live oh yeah i love it so i want to ask you some advice how do i learn to scam I got kicked out. I waited all that long just to get kicked out. I was like, bro, shout out to Deaf Noodles because if it was me, yo, I wouldn't even, I'm not patient whatsoever. I wouldn't stand in line just to meet them or like to confront them. So shout out to Def Noodles for actually, you know, going with it, doing that. But also Rich Lux and Madcaster didn't, they didn't even let them in the door, guys. As you, I'm gonna show you right now. You do see, you know, security tell them, no, you can't come in. And in the background, you see Joseph. Yes, you see Joe with the camera. It's all, it's all weird. It's said so by me. I'm just working on the words. Yes, everyone, I, I don't know so they weren't even allowed to go into the door and let me tell you they said it was free parking people were complaining they had to pay like 10 bucks for parking guys it was just a disaster it looked like no one was there but you know I don't know if it was because it was hot because, um, yo, Lancaster does get pretty hot. And, yeah, they had to move the whole meet and greet also to inside. We saw that. But then get this part. Another YouTuber by the name of Autazi actually went to the Ace Festival. Didn't have a ticket, right? He went to the Ace Festival. He bought his ticket for like 121 bucks. But weren't they selling for like $500? So I don't know. I just find it funny that, you know, this Ace Fest was supposed to be a good thing or a big thing, um, such as, you know, Disneyland meets Coachella. But in reality, it looked really empty. It looked like no one was really on the rides. Um, yeah, it just like kind of was a disaster within a disaster. But I'm not going to, you know, lie. They did, you know, have it. They did proceed with uh, the whole event. And most of the people that actually went, they just literally paid $500 to meet the Ace family. They didn't care about no rides. They didn't, get, they didn't care about no food vendors. No, they paid $500 to meet the Ace family. And let me tell you, I was seeing some TikToks that, bro, people were mad that they had to wait in line, such as this one. So like I'm saying, I don't think it was worth it to go wait that long. Maybe guys, I'm 
I'm assuming five hours plus to meet the Ace family, especially if you got there late. But this is a little quick video on a Sunday. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys have any thoughts, if you went to the Ace Fest, let me know down below because yeah, I want to, I want to know. I honestly want to know, was it really worth it? But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the Cheese Man Report. My name's Danny and I'm out. Peace. The Ace Family Festival was today and Austin and Catherine guaranteed everybody that bought their VIP pass would get to do the meet and greet. The meet and greet was from 12 to 10 p.m. And Austin literally went on his Instagram story and told people that they could get out of line and come back later, later on in the night. If you wait in the line for hours, you can always come back when the line is shorter and meet us. We're going to be here till 10 p.m. We love you guys so much. We can't wait to meet you guys. But at around 8 o'clock, they shut down the line, weren't letting people get in, and now people are upset. Yet another update. I am sweating gross, but I pulled my hair up and took off my sunglasses and hat. They turned away people from the meet and greet, so even though it's included in my ticket pass, I cannot get in. But I asked the security guard nicely to grab me at least the poster that's signed. Do I know what I'm going to do with the signed photo of the entire Ace family? Not really. It makes me uncomfortable. But at least I feel like I tried to get what I could get out of my ticket price. pulled up to ace fest and they're making us pay for parking and they said it was free yeah. you can see right here it says ace fest slash soul fest ten dollars and here's our, our time that we arrived everything's right here can't believe that all right is this